All right, everyone, welcome back to another update video here for the layout. So starting off, I did get a few new things and items for Christmas. So by the way, happy holidays, everyone. So to start off, I got these three pieces of rolling stock here. So I got the Delrin Hudson box car and the two Pennsylvania hoppers. Uh, after I got them, I gave them a nice light weathering with the airbrush. The roof on the box car actually used to be yellow. The whole thing was yellow, but I painted it a uh, faded black color just to make it a little bit less vibrant i guess you could say um, so it looks a lot better now with that light weathering on there as well they blend in and look a lot more realistic so as far as new work goes in the layout i have done uh, quite a bit more work on the layout so what i'm working on currently is putting in some of the coarse foliage uh different colors and textures that are going in so you can see I've added some darker bushes and underbrush and then some lighter coarse turf has gone down or uh, I think it's called coarse turf. Um, so using all woodland scenic stuff, I believe the darker green is a forest green or forest blend and then the lighter green is just light green, I think. So I've done around the rocks here, this back section here is done and then continuing along here. I have added some dirt texture and some rock fall here. You can see more bushes have been added and different colors and textures of grass. Continue, continuing to the back, I just did this back corner so it's still drying. Also this front here I just did. And then this was done previously so this is all dry along here. So another thing that's new, I did get a decent amount of building kits for Christmas. So one of them was this building here. This is a Walther's kit. I, think it's, I believe it's called Shop Building Number One. So the original kit is for this building here, but in some of the background kits, I found that Walther's will include extra pieces. So this extra wall was included in the kit. It's not part of the actual building, but it's included as just a building flap that you can use. And they don't provide enough windows to finish it, so I just used some black styrene and blacked it out. Uh, so I also painted the windows black for the other structure just to kind of tint them and hide what's behind it because there is really nothing behind it. So you can see I have some mortar lines painted on here. So this is my first time trying this technique. What I did was I uh, weathered the building first with an airbrush to kind of give the bricks some variation in color. And then I came back with a thinned down concrete color paint and painted all the brick walls and then wipe most of the excess off and it leaves behind just the paint in the mortar lines so that's kind of the effect it gives you there so pretty happy with how it turned out and uh, i do have some more buildings to build here i have two on order that should be filling in this area and then here's another one that i got this is the uh, i forget what i think it's arrowhead air ale i think i think i think that's what it's called Another Walther's kit, and then it came with, of course, the uh, the extra wall there that I'll be using as just a flat. So, still have to paint the stone along here. I used a gray technique for the mortar lines on this one. Gray paint, same technique. And then I still have to do the windows and everything else. And then I've also started putting the initial ground cover down here. You can see, again, using the tile grout that I used in the yard and other places. Mixing up different colors and blending. And it's still wet, so it's going to lighten up a little bit as it dries, but... You can see I've added some different color variation and there's going to be, you know, obviously the gravel dirt road kind of thing here for trucks to service the building. I just have my I-1 parked in the siding there, but that'll initially be, or eventually be an industry that's switched. I'm going to have a building here as well. So moving on to other things that are new, another building kit that I went ahead and built was this here. This is the Walther's coal loader. So this will go in the engine servicing area. And uh, I figured out what I'm gonna do in this area. So I'll, I'll go ahead and talk about what I planned here. So I also got this rotary dumper kit. So this gives me an opportunity to do some switching with a lot of the coal hoppers I have, as I do have a decent amount. And you know I have the spot back here where they're gonna get loaded, but I have nowhere to unload them. So this um, coal dumper works out. I'm going to put the coal dumper in this area and that's get, I'm going to also get a power plant building and have that here. So the coal is going to feed the power plant. So I have two tracks in here, kind of just to run around and then the coal loader on, or coal dumper on one of the tracks, just a way to switch out the coal cars over in this area. 
and that track will kind of curve and come around here and then join back in off the yard over here and then like i mentioned before i'm going to bump out the bench work here and extend it and have the engine servicing be in here so that track that goes over the power plant will kind of run here and then curve over the power plant and then engine servicing will be all in here so i'm planning on having diesel servicing in the back here uh fueling station sanding all the all that type of stuff and then we'll put the steam servicing i think over in this area here so i'll have the coal loader a track for the coal hoppers to dump coal into the loader and then sanding towers water spouts all that will be over in this area so i still have to build that out but at least have figured out what i'm going to do here in this area so another thing that's new i did extend some of the plaster work here the mountain has been extended here and i've started carving some of the rocks you can see i still have to extend and finish carving over here and then paint everything and then do some rocks here and on the other side in here i did get this hill in i didn't mix up quite enough plaster to fill in that last area so i got to mix up more and continue this and then blend it in over here now i'd like to get this back section done before i put the new benchwork extension in here and fill this in because it's going to be tougher to reach the back so i want to get at least the base layer of scenery in back there so i can get that moving um so another thing that's new i did paint some of the fascia black just to see what the finished look is going to be i really think it's going to look nice once i get all of it painted black and you know have it kind of give a nice view break into the scenery so i think that'll finish it off nice um, another thing i did I did some detailing on these locomotives here. These are Proto 1000 F3s that I got years ago, and I put some details on them. I added some diaphragms between the locomotives and some other kind of small details, but I always wanted to add the train phone antenna, but never uh, got around to doing it. So I actually ordered the cow scale supports kit and did the train phone antenna on both the A units. The B units just a dummy with sound, and then the two A units are powered with just DCC. So now they look much more Pennsylvania correct with the train phone antenna on top. So very happy with how that turned out. That's something that's a project that's been on my list for quite a long time. I just never got around to it. So now that's done. So for other projects, that's pretty much most of the new work that's done. I do have, like I said, two more building kits on order. And then when those get in, you know, I'll be able to continue work along this wall. But for now, I think that is mostly it for this update. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more stuff in the future.